afternoon. This is Nita with a timepiece garden. And yeah, what you see, big pots. Um, we have another week of, of temperatures where we're going to be lucky if we see 38 as a high and, and you know, 19 as a low. Um, because of that, I can't plant these trees. Now, these all came in bare root, and I've been waiting a couple of days, making sure I keep the roots, you know, moist, not wet, but, but moist so they'll stay soft. But I can't wait another week. It'll kill them. Um, so I'm going to do like I do the rest of my plants. I'm going to pot them up. Um, having said this, this is stuff that I've had, you know, spices in last year and herbs. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and mix it with some fresh, you know, just regular garden soil. Because uh, it's not forever. I've got places for them out in the garden. But if I try and transplant them right now, it'll kill them. You know? So, yes, I went with Starks on these. Um, Stark Brothers tend to be a little more expensive. But sometimes you can get trees that you can't get anywhere else. So, anyway, what are we going to do? I'm going to pot up. Um, and then when I'm done potting them up, I've got um, some seedlings to do. I look my little shelf. And, yeah, isn't this pretty? They're all on the shelf like they're supposed to be. Um, but my um, my melons and, like, my cucumbers and my squashes are already on their, their third leaves, not just their two starter leaves. So the, the little starter trays here are not good enough. They need to be potted up. You can see them before I lose them. Because, again, I've got another week where I can't plant anything. And then when I'm done with those and done with the trees, I'll probably come in here because you can't really see it. But you can see where some of these are getting to the point that they're they're too big for the plastic. So, yeah, I'll be potting up all kinds of stuff today and tomorrow. But the start is for the trees. Because if I have to, I can start more seeds. So, I'll talk to you in a few. All right. Trees are potted up. Yeah, they got some water there. I I won't lie, I soaked them well in their pot. Um, just because the soil was a little dry, it'll soak most of this back up by morning. Um, but they're in here, nicely potted. I have them in the grow room so they can go ahead and get get light. Um, and again, if you look at... Oh, hey, I'm knocking stuff around. You can see the green buds on that where they've already greened. Does that make sense? So I have to wait till we have at least 40s before I can put it outside. Because it'll, it'll freeze it and just kill it. You know? And I can't have that. So, they're potted up. I still have the my squashes and melons and stuff to do, but dinner was next. So, anyway, I'll talk to you in a few. The supervisor's here. Just gonna make sure I'm popping stuff up correctly. Say, so, um, say so first we're gonna do um, lots of khaki squash and some honey nut squash and some some butternut orange, which is awesome. And um, but yeah, so same thing. We're already on third leaf. You know, getting ready to grow fourth leaf. They can't stay in the little starter trays because there's just not enough nutrients for them to actually grow grow. So we're gonna pot them up. Um, the uh tape stuff. I used to not do that. I used to go and make all the little sticks. Um, and that just became crazy. And it's one of those, I always want to give credit where credit's due. And the first person I saw use the masking tape on both here and on like individual pots was um, Living Traditions. So, you know, I want to give him credit because it was an awesome idea and that's where I got it from. So, anyway, I'm here. I got supplies. Got to start labeling pots and stuff so I can just start potting them up. So, talk to you in a few. Panda says she's gonna supervise, make sure I'm doing it right. Make sure my toes are clean, <laughs> silly girl. All right, talk to you in a few. All righty, all done. So, yeah, my lights are off because the timer's already shut off. Um, so I get these at the $1.25 store, little three inch cups. I um, usually come 12 to a pack. You can't beat them um, for a pot up. You know, yeah, they're a little thin. They only last for a couple of years, but they do an awesome job. You know, just potting it up, getting it off uh, out of the starter pack and into some actual soil. Um, so you can kind of look. All right, let me take the lid off. I still got a, I still have stuff in here. 
This whole side here is supposed to take 21 days to germinate. It has not been 21 days, so the fact that none of them are up doesn't bother me. Um, I've got some of those that are, you know, whole slots are empty. Other rows are still got one or two left in them that may or may not germinate. Um, otherwise, I'm kind of full. You know? Everybody's up and growing and doing what they got to do. And yeah, my tomatoes are looking awesome. I'm not going to be able to put them outside anytime soon, but they're looking awesome. Um, so anyway, pot up is done. Um, I got huckleberries and zinnias and melons and cucumbers and um, squashes and yeah, zinnias and marigolds. Yep, that, that was everything that I potted up today and the trees, of course. So anyway, let me turn the light off, let them have a good evening. And Miss Panda and I will talk to you later.